Okay, so third es episode of Ask Amanda, and we are finally doing this again. Um, I know it's taken a while for me to get back on the wagon with this. Um, for I mean, there have been a couple of reasons why, but um, I kind of went through a, a uh, crisis of faith, kind of one of those, um, does anyone really care about what I have to say? The answer was for a while, no. Um, it's gotten a little bit more clear that regardless of you know, whatever I'm saying, people are going to either be upset or people are going to like it. And it's not really, um, wow. Yeah. And I had bronchitis and like four times. Um, anyway, so here is, here we go. And the first question is, are women specific bikes really women specific or is it just marketing? Um, this one's an interesting one for me. I was actually supposed to do an Ella cycling tips um, podcast thing last week. Um, and I was, I didn't have a voice. I had bronchitis. So, um, I would say that, okay, honestly, there are, there are women specific bikes and then there are bikes that fit women really well. I'm not a believer in women specific bikes. I don't believe in women specific hard goods. I don't believe that there's a women specific derailleur. I don't believe that a frame is really going to be solely dependent on whether or not a person has vagina, quite frankly. Um, probably because women-specific stuff, like women-specific bikes, specifically, do not work for me. Um, and I'm a woman. Does that make me any less of a woman because a women-specific bike doesn't work for me? No. Um, does it make my five foot three, 120 pound roommate who's a dude a chick because they happen to work for him? I would say no. Um, it's it's one of those things where I think that the term women specific is a little, I think it's a little more marketing and less useful. Um, you're probably at, like, you know, the solution to that would be make size specific bikes. Make, make bikes that are actually built for people based around their size and based around their skill level. There are a lot of women specific bikes, quote unquote, that are geared towards beginner riders where a not all women who need a women specific bike or who need a size specific bike are are beginner riders and not I mean I guess it was kind of going back to the argument that a lot of women specific bikes are you know they have smaller hand grips and they have smaller top tubes and they have you know they're lighter or they have uh, according to one company you know different carbon layup that makes them insert adjective here because you know that that's supposedly better for women to use um there are a lot of reasons why gender specific bikes don't work um a because it's it's not as inclusive as i think the people who build them would like them to be they are rather they're rather more exclusive than they are inclusive. Um, I think that there are a lot of women like myself that don't need women specific bikes. And there are a lot of men who, like my roommate, my best friend who do, who would ride a women specific bike isn't, if it wasn't fucking purple. Um, you know, like he, he's looked, he's actually seen a women's, he actually rode a women specific bike that was all black that he didn't realize was women specific. And he was like, this is the best bike I've ever ridden. It fits me so well. And like the bars are more narrow and, you know, the hand grips are smaller. I can't believe they actually make stock bikes like this, which to me was kind of funny. And then I told him it was a women's specific bike and you know, like the usual, oh my God, I don't need a women's specific bike. But I mean, it worked for him. And that's ultimately, instead of selling bikes that might pander to a gender, we should be selling bikes that, that actually, that fulfill the needs of a certain demographic and size bikes, size slash ability based bikes, or, or I, I, I think that size, you know, slash ability based bikes are going to often be a lot more productive of a, you know, of an aspiration than a gender, than one based around like a vagina or a penis, like really, because I mean, saddles, they're definitely like seats. Oh my God. Yeah. Bike seats make a huge difference, you know, depending on like your pelvic tilt and all this crazy shit. But 
you know, and, and grips and bars and, you know, small cosmetic things, but ultimately like a frame, a bike frame, like there are certain bikes, there are certain bike brands that I can't ride because I have an ab abnormally long torso, which, okay, great. But does that mean that I need a women specific bike? Um, I would say no. I think that there's, um, there's like a huge push for people to suddenly decide what they want, decide it now. And you're kind of, you know, everybody kind of gets locked into this little box, like this little niche thing where they feel like they're stuck for the rest of their riding career or the rest of their riding experience instead of really being encouraged to you know, try something out. Go go demo a women specific bike. See what you like, see what fits, you know, find what works. And then if you if that women specific bike doesn't work or, you know, if it does, get it. And if it doesn't, try something else. And ultimately, like the, the experience of I have a problem with the marketing of it. I have a problem with what feels to me personally, uh, feels like exploitation of women who might, of people, of customers who may not know what they're looking for, who trust the marketing behind the women specific bike movement and, and believe that what they're being sold is fact instead of a polite suggestion, which which is all women specific actually is, is it, it's a suggestion to a certain demographic that this bike might work. It's not a law, it's not hard and fast, but it's, I think that it's hyped up a lot to be a fix for a lot of ills, which it's not. So, um, yeah, that's my take. This one's kind of run over. So I'm just going to answer that one question today. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter at the Amanda Batty. That's where I'm usually most apt to respond because I hate Facebook and Instagram. Um, a lot of stuff is lost in translation. Anyway, so thanks for joining Ask Amanda and everybody have a very happy Pi Day.